So your client comes in and they're having generalized pain in the buttocks, right around the coccyx. A lot of times it is a coccyx. When they're young, they're falling and stuff like that. The sacrococcygeal joint there, where the coccyx attaches to the sacrum, is flexible and everything's groovy. But as you get older or you're a cyclist and you're cooking that coccyx, pushing it down, causing the coccyx to hook. The central nervous system hates that because you're dragging on the dural membrane, it hates that, causes all sorts of, uh, of problems that we're not going to be able to get into because there are too many. Suffice to say that I just try to do this technique if they're having generalized butt pain because it can help with pudendal neuralgia as well as uh, coccyx problems. This is a really nice, non-invasive way to do a technique that is pretty, you've got to be pretty careful with your hand position. But this is an easy, easy way to do it. Follow me through here. You just come to ischial tuberosity with your right thumb. You Notice I'm working across to the contralateral side. So I got ischial tuberosity. Ask my client, is it okay? They have already coming in with, with complaints down there. So I say, are you absolutely sure? Here's what I plan on doing. I'm gonna to try to find this uh, uh, bone here and then I'm going to come under and try to pull some of those ligaments up that might help your rear end pain. And they go, yeah, that's really cool. And you. All the way through, you're talking to them about it. How's this feeling? Is this okay? Is my position okay? But you're not going to be moving much. I'm on his ischial tuberosity with the thumb. I glide medially, slightly medially. I'm still in contact with the bone, and I just start letting that thumb sink. So really, I'm right on ligament but I don't want to be right on sacrotuberous ligament. I want to be under it, so I've got to keep working it until that thumb goes under the sacrotuberous ligament. Okay, it's starting to go under now. All right, now I'm going to come over with my contralateral thumb. You don't need to use both thumbs. Some people don't, but it's just a lot, feels a lot sturdier to them here. So here I come in. And I'm just putting quite a bit of force underneath that sacrotuberous, sacrospinous ligament. And once I get there, then I'm going to change the directions and I'm going to try to pull it up. Got to pull it back up to try to hook, grab that coccyx and pull it back out because recall, it's hooked forward. Here we go. Now I'm going to ask Aaron to do some slow pelvic tilts that's going to help me See, he's coming back right now. I'm doing nothing. When he goes forward, that's when I'm lifting it out of there. He goes back. I do nothing. When he comes forward, I'm pulling it up. Don't have jiggling hand syndrome in here. Just get in there and do it. About three or four times. Don't have to stay very long. And stop. Try that and see if it helps and test them the next time you come in to see if there's more mobility in there.